あ安田君
or Hong Kong's third chief executive election, brimming with great teaching materials for learning about unauthorized building works and bribery laws, <laughs> our class was also going through some very big changes. We all gained an invaluable experience, and we all know the greatest satisfaction came from finishing a difficult task that demanded our best, in which we all succeeded in giving. However, this success was a team effort. Because without the motivation and encouragement of each and every member of the class, this journey would not have been as enriching or rewarding. Our study groups, the debates we had in class and after class, especially with Hansen, <laughs> and support we gained from the only other people that would stay up just as late, allowed very special friendships to grow along the way. In some cases, more than special friendships. We juggled to balance our school lives and, just, and had just as much fun as we had with each other. It was these people that we shared laughter and tears, that pushed each other to think and work hard, standing by each other as we went through each stage of our degree, and reminding each other to never give up. Then, of course, there are the professors, who unlocked the doors of the legal world and taught us the importance of exploring with a critical mind, while preserving a passionate heart for justice and the development of the law. Although we are a small class, we're very proud to say that we know our professors <coughs> made sure that we were equipped with not only essential knowledge, but most importantly, we had the opportunity to go deeper beyond the black letter law and be mindful of the issues and philosophy that lie beneath. I also want to especially use your applause to thank our administrative staff, Ms. Priscilla Wong, made our lives a lot easier by helping us communicate with the office and faculty. Thank you very much, Priscilla. But at the end of the day, on behalf of the graduating class, I need to thank each and every one of the guests who are sitting here today, and perhaps other family members and friends who couldn't be here. Friends and siblings, brothers and sisters, thank you for rem remembering that we still exist, even though we probably haven't seen much of each other in the past two years. And just the fact that we can know, we can talk to you when life got stressful was already a wonderful blessing. <coughs> Moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, thank you for bearing with us when we didn't seem to have much time to spend at home anymore. When we got impatient because of the pressure we felt for finding a job or preparing for an interview. Thank you for the wonderful food and soups you prepared for us when we were too busy preparing for our exams and for being very understanding each time I had to call home and say I needed to stay in school late because my study group needed to finish making insane flowcharts and do mock questions for civil procedure. <laughs> and to everyone who helped to get here today, to help us get here today, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So two days ago, I bumped into Judge Reyes, who had just joined the Faculty of Law to teach at Hong Kong U. I asked him what he thought was the most important thing for us to know when we head out to our legal careers. If you know Judge Reyes, he's not a man of many words, so he only gave me three words. To stay inspired. Knowledge without justice should probably be called cunning rather than wisdom. Amongst us, I think there is a large number of people that may go into the legal profession. And I hope as we strive on, we will remember whether we are barristers or solicitors, criminal lawyers working with guaxais, <laughs> clients um, that, that, that come to us with many different problems, working for the government, NGOs, or corporate organizations, that we will do our best to uphold the integrity of the rule of law and stand for equality liberty, and fairness for each and every person that comes before us, so that the legal knowledge we have are not mere words, but actions that can achieve justice. For those that will venture into other professions or sectors, I hope we will cherish the intellectual experience gained in law school and never underestimate the role we have to play 
in impacting the society or the community around us, especially in Hong Kong, where we find our ways to bring positive growth and hope to the relatively young government and developing democracy since the handover. As we step out of school and leave the JD degree with perhaps slightly changed perspectives of the way we see the world, coupled with the diverse professions that we originally came with two years ago, may we stay inspired, stay humble, and most importantly, stay friends. University of Hong Kong, Juris Doctor, Class of 2012. We came, we saw, we conquered, and we made it together. Congratulations. Thank you. Stephanie reminded me of how exceptional your